Oh man, can't wait. I'm really wondering what they're gonna do for like rewards and stuff. If they're gonna do anything else special other than a temple that we already got, right? Are they gonna be sick? If you're here, we should follow everything down below. And subscribe if you're gonna see this on YouTube. Because I'm gonna post it. It's I mean, free content basically, so why not? Yeah man, Honkai started man. This game's been so good. And hopefully it just keeps getting better. It's time to lock in. And who's the last one? Cheap, cheap. Cheap, 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 Panacone's Charmony Festival has entered its countdown phase. The oh. singer Robin, famous throughout the cosmos, has announced in a recent press conference that she will release a new album for the festival. It's for Mikhail. And for the future of Panacone. Come with me, everyone. Let's deal with these thugs first. Then we'll talk about how to deal with you. Okay, so everyone's gonna team up, it looks like. Oh my god, this guy. Here's your final reward. Everyone, are you ready? The soul glad boss. Finally, you've arrived. Please stop. Everything is ready. It's time to step on stage. What a banger. So who's the bad guy now? Like fireflies to a flame, my feet get dead. Hey, no way. Brother, do you think the stars will fade away? Holy Fantillion type of boss fight. She, I am getting 1.2 vibes. Oh, cold. That was a lot. Wait, who's that bad guy now? Like, what are we fighting? So everyone looks like he's gonna team up. But they didn't show what happened eventually in Acheron. Topaz, Jade. Black Swan's gonna come back. I'm guessing she's gonna like team up with Boot Hill or something. I mean, that was, that was exciting. I can't wait. Man, new weekly boss fight looks like as well. Finally. Oh, it's nice to have this guy's back, Good man. afternoon and Albert. good evening. Allow me to extend my sincere greetings to all our viewers. Welcome to the version 2.2 special program. Then, my god, that weep. Long time still no pose. See, Goddamn. I heard you had a nice vacation. Oh, as a matter of fact, I did. The IPC offers wonderful employee benefits. Word on the street is you managed to save the universe during your break. Oh, Director Aventurine, you flatter me. I just helped out a little. It was nothing, really. Why not reward yourself with an extra day or two? And abandon this wonderful artist? Never. I miss them too much. Let's do some introductions, shall we? Greetings, viewers. 
It's a pleasure to be here on the special program. I am Black Swan, a memo keeper from the Garden of Recollection. Hello, Hello everyone. I'm Aventurine from the IPC Strategic Investment Department. Bro, you dead, boy. Hey guys, yeah. I'm Robin. So happy are to you? see everyone here. A warm welcome to each of our special guests. Oh, thanks, Albert. There sure were a lot of interesting details in that trailer. <laughs> it's a pretty For big right? lineup, isn't it? That dashing gunman at the beginning. Wonder what his deal is. Not to mention a certain brother and sister. I'm glad to see Sunday and Robin after everything that's happened. <laughs> Wait, that's there true. Was also a Sunday place was that looked like an opera house. Is that where the Charmony Festival is being held? Uh, a new map. Uh, okay. Maybe. So many guests from so many places. What will the story bring us next? Mm, perhaps we'll gain some insights in today's program. Oh, <laughs> can't wait. Hold on, Albert. Who exactly is being referred to in the version 2.2 title? Then wake to weep. Doesn't sound like a version filled with sunshine and rainbows. Don't get too hasty now. Uh, after experiencing two versions of Pentacone, I'm sure everybody is eager to uncover the truth behind the sweet dream. Since Miss Acheron split the family screen in Clock Studios theme park, it's obvious things aren't quite as safe as the family made them out to be. <laughs> Did anyone really believe them in the first place? <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm not picture dying. Things seem to be heading in a more favorable direction for Mr. Aventurine. There's a secret within the family that goes deeper than any murder mystery. But with the clues we have so far, things don't really add up, right? How do you mean, no Miss Robin? For example, Firefly and I were attacked. But when we came to our senses, we didn't have a single scratch. What happened exactly? Mm, you know, Dr. Ratio once told me that in a dream, it's not death. Well, if you can't stop talking about Dr. Ratio, that's but crazy. Dormancy. Hmm, a thought provoking idea. And let me remind you, Himiko deciphered a secret passage in the invitation to the Charmony Festival. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penacone, and thus the answer to the question, why does life slumber? So in other words, you need to enter an impossible dormancy within a dream. Only then can you pull back the curtain and get closer to the Watchmaker's legacy. Dormancy within a dream? Is that like... a dream within a dream? I think there's another possibility. Could it be referring to the other side of the dream? Just like Miss Acheron said at the end of version 2.1, Penacony. The true land of the exiles. Ho oh, ho! On that note, perhaps we could uncover some clues in version 2.2's new map, Dream Flux Reef. Uh, can anyone guess what the connection might be? Hmm. Taking the name at face value, it's a reef that the dreamscape flows past. If the dreamscape can flow like water, then it should be flowing downhill. Could there really be a deeper level to the dreamscape? Could there indeed? Trailblazers will have to discover the truth for themselves. All I can reveal is that entering this Cook special domain too much like will that. require ways and means. Okay. In version 2.2's main storyline, the fool always rings twice. Trailblazers will head to this new domain and reunite with some unexpected friends. And let's not forget, the Charmony Festival has also entered the countdown phase. The curtain will soon rise before guests from across the cosmos. Uh, the Charmony Festival. The family's guaranteed security has fallen to pieces. Still, they've done a good job keeping the truth under wraps. I'm curious to see what happens next. They say this Charmony Festival is set to be a grand spectacle and that a special talent show is going to be held to build up the hype. 
The talent show, known as the Festivity Auditions, is sponsored by Soul Glad and will take place at the moment of Scorch Sand. The moment of Scorch Sand is Panacone's most festive moment, with guests partying all day long. Add in some malt flavored Soul Glad, and the atmosphere is second to none. Whew, that's right. This place was okay. once devastated by the invasion of memes, but became the site of the festivity auditions after its reconstruction. The family holds these auditions here from time to time to select Pentacone's next festive superstar. As you can see, it comes with all the bells and whistles, lighting, stage, effects, you name it. We guarantee the most unforgettable experience for all contestants and audience members. In version 2.2, Trailblazers will need to join the contest with their companions and earn the title of Festive Superstar. Oh, so you have to win the contest if you want to join the Charmony Festival? Ah, no pressure. The renowned Galactic Wait, but like, how are they going to transition from what happened after an adventure no into this? They go. So, like what? how do the festivity auditions work exactly? Pass all the audition stages and earn the superstar title for a chance to venture into the Charmony Festival's main venue, the Pentacone Grand Theater. That's right. The oh, free Grand maps. Theater is Pentacone's most recognizable landmark. If you win the title of festive superstar, you can take center stage and join the family in kicking off the Charmony Festival. <laughs> really? Does the winner get to perform on the same stage as you, Robin? What do you say, Miss Robin? Maybe. Or maybe not. If I didn't have so much overtime, I could attend myself. <laughs> Trailblazers! I'll be there with you in spirit. <laughs> Don't mess it up now. <laughs> Another thing. Unlucky. In the scene we just Build saw, up. what were all those strange-looking characters in the theater? Watch who you call it strange-looking. Those are official Charmony Festival personnel. <laughs> After all, the opening ceremony is just around the corner. There's still a lot of preparation to do. Well, they're unique, I'll give them that. It seems like some of them are holding glasses, and others are carrying... knives? <sighs> Those are violin balls. The members of the Sweet Dreams troupe, and they'll be playing an important role in the Charmony Festival. I see. They look a little on edge. Uh, perhaps they won the final of the auditions. Stage fright is serious, you know. Wait, I, I thought the Trailblazer was supposed to win. <laughs> Director Adventurine, you're a sharp one, all right. Let's just say that anything is possible. <laughs> Next, let's introduce the leading roles who will feature at the Charmony Festival. Oh no, I'm being converted. Help. I thought the jades were. Why is she cool, man? Firstly, we have the singer Robin, whose beauty and talent are known throughout the cosmos. I'm sure Miss Robin is no stranger to our viewers. Her gentle elegance as a singer has earned her countless fans Man. from across the universe. No need to flatter me, Albert. I still have plenty to improve on. Oh, don't be so modest. And just I so need you to know, Miss Robin, <laughs> I'm a fan too. I've got so many collector's edition vinyls, I don't know where to put them. Whenever I'm Bruh, I kicked so quick. Oil, that was crazy. Your singing soothes my weary soul with a voice as soft as a feather. I appreciate the fanfare, Mr. Albert. But do you think maybe you're overworking yourself? Oh, don't worry. <laughs> the opportunity to see you here today is worth all the overtime in the world. You're certainly worthy of the limelight, Miss Robin. But I can't help but feel that you're a bird in a cage. Or perhaps I should say, someone who's ready to spread their wings. Aren't we all, Miss Black Swan? Sometimes every bird is trapped in a cage, yearning to fly free and, and soar into the. Uh, all right, Owl. Why is she in a cage? Get the idea. Again. No, no, back to business. 
From the letter Miss Robin gave to Mr. Sunday, we learned that during the preparations for the festival, I think festival, Albert was watching too much Mina to recently. I began to investigate the traitor in the family. In the process, she suffered an accident and became a victim of death. But seeing how Firefly has reunited with the Trailblazer, I'm sure that death isn't the end of the story. For sure, so how did we TP to Firefly? Uh, like what happened? Secrets are sure to unfold in the 2.2 story. But for now, let's take a look at Miss Robin's battle credentials. About time. Well, I'm a physical type character, following the path of harmony. My technique allows me to create a dimension around myself. Any enemies within this dimension follow me without attacking. After entering battle against enemies in the dimension, I can also regenerate additional energy. Even enemies are captivated by Miss Robin's okay. star status. <laughs> they feel kind of useless, but the energy is nice. Sync with my team, offering support and buffs to everyone. Take my skill, for example, which enhances the total damage inflicted by our team, or my talent. Which allows me to regenerate additional energy whenever my allies attack enemies. And as a cosmic songstress, Miss Robin also integrates her songs into combat. When using her ultimate, Miss Robin belts out a morale boosting number and enters Holy a performance state. Weak. This state allows all allies to immediately take action while also providing buffs. Um, I came. Everyone immediately takes action again. Miss Robin is full of surprises. And how about that song? And now that's a tune I can fight. She sounds OP. <laughs> can I say? Let's park up, park up real quick. <laughs> when my ultimate is in play, I inflict additional damage on the enemy after each ally attack. Plus, I'm immune to crowd control debuffs. There's no doubt. You fully embody the path of harmony, Miss Robin. Spreading harmony has always been my mission. As a Lovian. I have the innate ability to transmit feelings and resonate energy through my halo, which aligns perfectly with my path. Okay, that song. Are there other ways to access it? I mean, we can't be asking you to go into battle every time we want to hear it. I wonder if you should give our one like or Penacony for the energy. Our audience is also with an energy very rope. curious about Miss Robin's other songs. If I can stop one heart from breaking, for instance. Don't worry, don't worry. Miss Robin's upcoming album is right around the corner. She even took the opportunity to put together a special video for her fans. Mm? Play the tape. Hello, everyone. This is Robin. Holy My moly. new album, Inside, will be released on May 9th. I have three songs to share with you this time. Life is filled with worries and sorrows. But I hope that while listening to my songs, they're going all out. out. Long time no see. I'm Serval, the lead singer of the Bellabogian band Mechanical Fever. Miss Robin's new album is about to be released. I'm As a fellow musician, I really look forward to seeing what kind of tunes she'll be releasing this My time. My life to the Serval. Holy Finally, fuck. On behalf of all the Bellabogian fans, I'd like to ask, can you come to Bellabog for your tour? Hello, everyone. I'm Sunday, representative of the family in Penacone. As a follower Hello? of the Harmony, Robin's powerful singing spreads harmonious melodies to all worlds. She is the family's pride and joy. I am delighted that her new album, Inside, will be officially released on May 9th. And as her older brother, I am very grateful for all the support that Robin receives. Thank you. Okay. Tick tock! I'm thrilled to be chosen as the fan representative to announce Robin's new album! <clears throat> Miss Robin's voice is the most beautiful in the universe. Oh, what does her voice sound like the deeper? Of her voice is so empowering. Let's all make sure to show our support for her newest album. Miranda Hanu Holmes. Hey, Quailings, check this out. <laughs> Miss Robin's new album will be released on May 9th. Little Gray is here to tell everyone that it'll definitely be amazing. You do not want to miss out. Oh, and don't forget My to God. like and subscribe. My life streamer. Hello, 
What's up, everyone? Jake Miller here. I heard Miss Robin's album is coming out soon, and I'm so excited for it. I know her songs always bring many surprises, so let's look forward to her album together. And yeah, Jake is buff as fuck. I thought this guy was like skinny, and that's it. ギンガの歌姫として何かアドバイスをとメッセージをいただいたんですけれどもいやいやいやもう私はアドバイスというよりはでもあのいつか歌姫同士なんかコラボができたら嬉しいなと思っておりますのでロビンさんぜひコラボ
A duel? I thought that only happened in the movies. Boot Hill prefers a straightforward approach to resolving conflicts. And this is reflected in his talent. Every time a dual target is defeated or their weakness is broken, Boot Hill gains a stackable enhancement. When Boot Hill uses his ultimate, he inflicts physical weakness on the enemy, deals damage, and delays the target's action. Such a cinematic ultimate! There's even a picture of the enemy on the wanted poster! Locking onto the target and striking with precision. Such a dashing cowboy. Boot Hill's technique allows him to inflict physical weakness <laughs> on the enemy the first time he uses his skill after entering combat. Is this the power of a galaxy ranger? This is the power of beating them at their own game. Tromping in duels makes Boot Hill stronger. That sounds like it's going to be a physical breaker. So like evolution. a better Luca? Problems are dispatched in no time. And by problems, you mean people who present problems, right? I mean, yeah, he just, uh, I'm not gonna, he kind of just like he does what Luca does, but better. Get done by so, by interesting. I see. So, being a cowboy and all, does Boot Hill order I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a crit DPS, not a breaker. <laughs> uh, I think you've taken the cow part too literally, Miss Robin. <laughs> malt juice is more his speed. But isn't malt juice bad for you? Well, the IPC's files suggest that Boot Hill is prone to augmenting his fighting skills with invasive mechanical upgrades. For someone that's 90% machine, I'd say malt juice is the least of his concerns. Moving swiftly on. Aside from the two characters we've already more cowboy. introduced, that's crazy. there's another special guest in version 2.2. One who's set to give a spectacular performance at the Charmony Festival. It's the one and only Harmonious Choir, the Great Septimus! Oh, I see. Epic. Okay, will you just die? Uh... You said they're also performing at the Charmony Festival? Correct. Are we sure they're not aiming to sabotage the festival? <laughs> well, that depends on who you're teaming up with. Good thing our trailblazer is an adaptable individual. To ensure this show goes off without a hitch, I brought along some detailed intel on Harmonious Choir, the Great Septimus. Once in battle, Harmonious Choir, the Great Septimus, charges and unleashes Semi-Chorus, which allows all of its active summons to inflict damage on a single ally. In the second phase of battle, after charging up, the Great Septimus uses Chorus, dealing damage to all allies. Plus, all of the Great Septimus active summons will also deal extra damage to all allies. During the second phase, the Great Septimus casts a shield on themselves, decreasing the damage they take and boosting the damage they cause to all allies, while making their own toughness impervious to damage. It has break, Bar. Oh my god. In the third phase, Run, this mate. formidable foe becomes even stronger, unleashing defense ignoring attacks that deal massive damage to all allies. Was that Robin's hand? Or was it the harmony hand? Oh, nice. Because I did like a harmony thing, right? So, are there any tricks we can use to defeat it? During battle, trailblazers need to quickly target and break the weaknesses of the Great Septimus and its summons. Once all the summons' weaknesses are broken, the Great Septimus won't be able to use its semi-chorus ability, and the strength of chorus will be significantly reduced. Breaking the Great Septimus' weakness will also grant a shared shield to all allies. Now oh. I think about it. This version's promotional artwork gave some pretty strong hints on all this. I see. It seems that this was meant to be the Charmony Festival's main act all along. Oh, poor trailblazers. Did you think you were coming to Panicone for a vacation? Is this what people mean when they say rules are made to be broken? Huh. Why can't I see a baseball bat? There's no flaming lance either. 
just a hat. <laughs> what observant guests we have just today. Just a hat indeed. We've only covered the basics. There's much more for trailblazers to explore and get to grips with. After completing the version 2.2 Trailblaze mission, Echo of War, Salutations of Ashen Dreams will become available. Complete this challenge to obtain Boot Hill's advanced trace level up material. Lost Echo of the Shadows or Boot Hill, okay. Trailblazers in need of new materials should remember to save up on their weekly Echo of War rewards. And heads up, Trailblazers. Miss Robin's advanced trace level up material is How's the past bug? evils of the borehole planet disaster. Okay. Uh, make sure you don't go chasing the wrong materials. Next up, we've got banner information for version 2.2. Oh, top is back. I'll tap on this. Can I do the free to play? Can the limited five star character Robin as well as the limited five star duo. Honey and Joyi. Not to mention the top rates for the limited five star light cone. Even March. Night glow and limited light cone. Worrisome blissful. On you like will be boosted. What is that light cone? In 2.2 second half warp Holy event. Holy moly! On Fushion is back. Limited five star character of Boot Hill. It's crazy. I'm pretty sure Fushion is gonna be more than Boot Hill. Will also be available in this Pale look and lineup. hook. At the same time, the drop rates for the limited five star light cone. Oof, and those light cones. The second life. Not and great. The light cone, she already shut her eyes, will be boosted. Looks like Boot Hill is in the middle of another mechanical upgrade. And it seems like he already shut his eyes too. <sighs> <sighs> and I almost yes, forgot what to is this? The brand new yep. four star Nihility Light Cone Boundless Choreo will also Holy. be included in this war. Is that Acheron dancing with Black Swan? Their outfits seem totally different this time. What happened? I'm dying. Some memories are better left unexplored. <laughs> Ain't no way. Time for a short break. <laughs> They're going all in, in on that. In a few moments, we'll be introducing ah! version 2.2's brand new events. <laughs> But they went all in on that. You know, like Ruby and Min are going crazy when they saw that. What an update. Okay, now I'll have to do something interesting with the events. Because Sides of War was cool, but like... I'm just fighting. Anything crazy. Oh yeah, man. Uh, so much just happened. Yeah, Booty looks sick. The whole Robin album thingy. So sick. And yeah, I'm putting Robin. I don't care. Back, everyone. Time to dive straight into version 2.2's events. To kick things off, let me introduce Clocky. What is a light call? What's a new one? As you may remember in the 2.1 storyline, the screen at Clock Studios theme park was split in two. To restore the park to its former yeah, glory, how that trailblazers must take on the crucial task of repairing the screen. But it wasn't the trailblazers who broke the screen. And if I'm not mistaken, the screen wasn't the intended target, was it? Mr. Aventury. <laughs> anyway, the Nameless should be congratulated on their admirable screen-fixing spirit. In the Clocky mm. Dream Joy Memoir event, what is that? are tasked with directing and editing films. Fucking films nightmare creature. Well in test screening will increase the park's box office revenue and attract investment. This money will go towards fixing the screen that was damaged. Can we try filming the whole thing in a single shot? Miss Robin. I'm afraid not every actor is cut out for that approach. <laughs> As a professional international peace media host, I'm of the opinion that skillful editing can enhance a film's pace and emotional impact. In this artistic undertaking, the key to editing is the effective use of the time dice. By allocating the time dice to different scenes, it will bring about changes in the audience's emotional responses. Thrilling, comedic. Okay, so I need to reach like those targets at Toto. must achieve certain key objectives to pass the internal screen. Oh, 
as they gain more recognition, Trailblazers will also have the opportunity to create commercials. Plus, they'll have the chance to explore the spin-off stories of supporting characters. <laughs> exactly! Mm -hmm. Successfully editing a classic ending grants you side character spin-off reels, thereby revealing their corresponding extra stories. From mixology to directing, the Trailblazers have once again unlocked new skills in Penacony. But isn't this more like editing than directing? <laughs> well, I wouldn't put it that way. During the editing process, Trailblazers have the chance to experiment with different plot directions and might end up with an ending that's completely different from the original storyline. Great stories often originate from notable historic events. You could even regard movies as a type of visual memory, weaving together threads of memories to create one complete tale. It's quite impressive. Agreed! And after finishing the specified missions, Trailblazers will be rewarded with the event light cone for tomorrow's journey. Ah, it's gonna be in this it fight. looks like a story that took place at some point on the express. That's Pom Pom. They're toasting and celebrating with nameless of the past. Yesterday's she memories the still bad the top, kind of And while the conductor's companions may have changed, Just asking. the Trailblaze never ceases. Moving on, okay. let's delve into the domain of the Galactic Baseballer. Funded by Giovanni, the legend of the Galactic Baseballer is set to undergo an exciting round of testing in version 2.2. Ah, the same Giovanni from Ethereum Wars? That's right. After the success of Ethereum made another game. Giovanni has decided to sponsor a brand new game project in Pentacody. It is said that deep within the vast cosmos, the strongest baseball bat lies hidden. To find this bat, the galactic baseballer decides to leave home, embarking on an extensive search to locate the treasure. There are many factions interested in this bat. And the raccoon the galactic baseballer must endure many challenges and defeat many foes in order to progress on. It seems that in every battle wave, the trail the galactic baseballer, mm -hmm. needs to defeat as many enemies as possible, gain experience, and level Actually, that's up a their base team. Kaka Blocks won't run, mate. After the oh, team oh. levels up, that's like they can win as you one get. of three random weapons or accessories. The weapons help our baseballer defeat enemies, while the accessories grant buffs to weapons or characters. Every weapon has a corresponding resonant accessory. My advice is to focus on leveling up weapons first. After achieving max level with the weapon it's like a weapon, and in possession of its resonant accessory, the weapon can be leveled up to a legendary weapon, which greatly increases the galactic baseballer's fighting capabilities. Complete each planet's challenges, earn raccoon tokens to enhance your fighting skills, and accumulate cosmic reputation, which can be exchanged for rewards. I can't wait. Hello? Let this be kind of <sighs> long. That looks fun. This event are so cute. And each planet has its unique charm. Just looking at them makes me want to join in the fun. How about our three guests make a prediction? Will the galactic baseballer get their hands on the ultimate baseball bat? <laughs> I think the name Galactic Baseballer might be a giveaway. <laughs> Moving on. Our next event is called All About Boot Hill. Oh, and how exactly will everything be showcased? In this segment, we've adopted a character profile approach. You won't see Boot Hill, but you'll hear all about his legendary exploits. Well, rumor has it that Boot Hill has recently been involved in some major heists, with many entities, including the space station, suffering losses. Okay. I hear the IPC and others are going back to the space station. Bounty on his head. With so many assignments available, I'd say it's a great chance to make a profit. When C. G. from the space station thinks the Trailblazers oh, are one of these. Okay. the job and wants to recommend them to the IPC. The Trailblazers are joining the IPC? Uh, not exactly. More like a get-rich-quick scheme with friends. During the event, the Trailblazers will have to complete various different assignments and gather more information on Boot Hill in exchange for assignment rewards. All I have to say is, 
Thank you, Mr. Wen Shichi. Profiting from assignments is one thing, but no underhanded tactics. Understood. <laughs> of course! Besides the fun events, version 2.2 presumably also has... The nail-biting. The hair-raising. Dead Warp Chicken! <laughs> Trailblazers, don't forget to log in and claim yours. Let's also not forget the gift that of version ODC. 2.2 will be introducing Shape of Duty Stagnant Shadow. Successfully completing this challenge will grant hotel? you the character essential materials, IPC work permit, for Robin and Boot Hill. Oh. Well, given the relationship between the family I'm not the that. Hill and the IPC, I must say this essential Wait, I'm really is for Robin. very specific. No sooner had the sun set than Boot Hill, pistol in hand, I'm scared. charged into the IPC. Bang, bang, bang! 65 gunshots later, he was back out again with 65 work permits. All for his own personal enhancement. The IPC work really permit going to is that? only used by senior employees. Mr. Albert, do you have one? You're a senior employee? Me? Well, I... Senior is a big word, but I suppose I, uh... <laughs> All right, we get it. Now, Calyx Butter the Hunt will also be available in version 2.2. Completing challenges when you have material. the Meteoric Bullet yeah. Huntress material. Makes sense. The double events, Planar Fissure and Garden of Plenty are also back. Successfully challenging the simulated universe and calyxes can earn you a set amount of double rewards. Make nice. sure you take on the challenge, Trailblazers. Up next is right, the they saw my 300% planner video. And they're like, shit, we have to give this guy another one. <laughs> uh. Nice. Yeah, pets look fun. They're all like thingy. That, look, that's gonna, that looks fun as fuck. Can't wait for that. But yeah. Am I really prefer for Robin? We're getting so many pulls. I might as well try once. <sighs> Seriously, I don't know if I'm even gonna have enough for 180. Welcome back, folks. Let's get into a few system optimizations, shall we? First up, a new function that shows battle records has been added to the Trailblazer profile page. Oh, Meanwhile, nice. on the friendless interface, you can now see the real-time status of your friends and find out what they're currently up to. For oh, nice. example, whether they're currently in the simulated universe, the Forgotten Hall, etc. That's right. And in the Forgotten Hall and Pure Fiction, you can now see your friends' lineups as well as display your own lineups to your friends. That's it. Naturally, this is an optional function that can be turned on or off at will. Version 2.2 will also bring okay. in an improved team setup function, making it easier for Trailblazers to view the status cool. of all setups. There's also a new feature to tag characters, which ensures that tag characters are pinned at the Finally. top of the bar. Huh, oh Trailblazers my will god! Be able to prioritize their that most took way too long. Favorite characters. That's so nice. All time is oh, I swear. All the time I waste trying to look for like a Ron May. Expect continuous <sighs> or like to the team setup function him a or something. Versions. Stay tuned, Trailblazers. <laughs> <laughs> And finally, the digital version of the Ultimate Trailblazer's Guide to Pentacony is officially out. The book includes behind-the-scenes stories of the Star Rail team creating Pentacony, exclusive interviews with the animated shorts team, and features original artwork from the shorts, a flash, and Icor of Two Dragons. Trailblazers can view it on the official website or download the PDF version. Don't miss out. Oh, nice. With so much awesome content. Is it really all for free? You better believe it. <laughs> In that case, I'll be taking this treasured memory with me. <laughs> and that brings us to the end of the version 2.2, then wake to weep special program. 
<laughs> Man, I can't wait to see the Charmony Festival. Here's hoping that 2.2 Story provides Trailblazers with an unforgettable experience. I hope that when Looks the okay. truth comes to light, the gentle sun will shine upon all of Panacone. Here's wishing another very happy birthday to the Astral Express. I eagerly await our next encounter. I'd like to yes. say a big thanks to our three guests. Oh, and a final reminder to all Trailblazers. Don't forget to log in and claim your 1600 Stellar Jades and 10 Fuels from your mailbox. And that is well and truly a wrap. See you in the next one. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> Some zesty motherfuckers, mate. Huh? Wait, I... Oh, right! <clears throat> I have one final announcement to make. Panacone's dream abduction case is soon to hit the screens. Sparkle Star Rail Jazz Night is coming up. Right. Oh, yeah, fair Hang on, I guess Sparkle Loki kind of bad. Ladies and gentlemen, run for your lives. <laughs> and there it is. 2.2. Holy moly. So much, man. And this game is free, man. Like, oh my god. And they're giving us so much currency as well. Can't wait. Like, it's enough for me, though. What Firefly and thingy. Firefly and Jade. I'm dying. That's crazy. That's gonna be such a good update. Can't wait. Well, yeah, that's gonna be it for now. I'll see you in 2.2. Check out the links below. Follow, subscribe, all that. And uh, yeah. That's about it.